Hello, I'm Arnold Lowry. I'm going to paint a landscape with uh, uh, some distant hills, a small farm in the foreground. As you can see, I've uh, traced off the drawing onto the watercolour paper in advance, and now we're going to paint. So the first job I want to do is to wet the paper so that it will ensure that the paint goes on with nice soft edges. So the first colour I'm going to put on is the sky is some cobalt blue. So I'm going to mix some cobalt blue on my palette and pop it on. Now I want to have the sky a little bit deeper blue uh, near to the top as you get in real skies. So I'm going to mix a little bit of ultramarine with a little touch of cadmium scarlet to slightly grey it and pop that in there. The next job is to get some paper towel and dab out the, the clouds. Making sure that the shapes are interesting, that they're not just five cotton wool balls hanging on bits of string. Now we'll put in the, uh, the hills in the distance and I'm going to use the same mix of cadmium uh, scarlet into a, uh, an ultramarine blue. Right, now while it's wet, what I intend to do is to um, just sponge out a little bit of the cloud into, the, that, into that hill. So I used a sponge to start with, but I'm uh, finishing off with some paper towel. And now I think we will put in the trees at the base of the hill. I suppose again we can use the same mix of um, ultramarine and um, cadmium scarlet, but slightly stronger this time. And, um, and really all I'm doing is I'm painting a distant forest. So all I want is the silhouette of that forest. Okay. And perhaps uh, just place in a Just an edge there. Now I'll come back into the distance mountains and uh, maybe put a little bit of a shadow. As the mountains are still wet, I'm going to get this darker mix. I'm going to wring out my brush and I'm going to pick up once and that will ensure that the brush is not fully loaded with, with water. And it's just right for me to add in the um, the new colour and it'll soften and you won't get any cauliflowers. Um. Right, we have the distant hills in now. Um, now let's come forward a bit. Um, so I'll need to clean my palette of the old colour and mix a new colour which will be a little bit of lemon yellow and I'll put that into the base of the mountain. There we are. There it is. And as I come forward I'll Add a little bit of gamboge as well. And 
I think while that's um, while that's drying, I will uh, do the house. So clean the palette again. Always have a nice clean palette. I know it wastes paint, but it's worth it in the long run. Um, so I'm going to get some gamboge, uh, which is a nice warm yellow. I'm going to place in that colour into the house. And on its own, it's looking a bit um, sameness, but I think if we put a little bit of cadmium red with it, cadmium scarlet, beg your pardon. Cadmium scarlet is the best pillar box red you can get. Uh, I'm going to pop that in with this. So the paint mixes on the paper. Now the next job is to put the gutters and the doors and the windows. So what we're going to do now is to again is mix perhaps a bit of cobalt blue with that cadmium scarlet. Ring out the brush, pick up once again, and I'm going to place a line instead of drawing it, right? So, and then the line will be uneven. And when you do that, it becomes much more interesting to look at. The side of the brush, pop the couple of, pop the window in there. Now while that's drying, I'm going to do the trees behind. So this time, perhaps I'll mix a little bit of uh, Windsor Blue and uh, Burnt Umber. Ring out, pick up once. And what I'll do this time is to put my brush up to the building and pull away. And up to the building and pull away. So now you see, I haven't painted the edge of the building, but you, can, you know what it is. And perhaps we'll change the colours a little bit here. Perhaps I'll put a, some, some yellows into here. And maybe a little touch of um, permanent rose in here as well. God, it all makes it look more interesting. And. Uh, now I'll mix some of the Windsor Blue and Burnt Umber again, but um, a stronger mix this time. And ring out, pick up once, and um, perhaps I'll just put these some of these fir trees in. So, so I've placed the fir tree main trunk in, and then holding the brush flat, I can. Um, is helter skelter down, I see. And we'll have another one which is not the same height, not the same angle. We'll just pop that in there. We can continue this down to blend it all in. And if I get my brush, wring it out, I can now soften some of this down. Maybe put some few other colours in here as well. Now let's look at this side and we do pretty much the same thing. and uh, mix this burnt umber and Windsor blue again and um, we put another fir tree so we got um, father bear mother bear and put baby bear in here yeah? so it's just to remind you to get different sizes of trees and different spacings and different colors and so everything is slightly different. And I'll wring out the brush and I'll just soften that edge a bit. I 
and maybe just soften this edge a bit. 